Yeah, thank you so much. Uh, good morning once again. Uh, I'm very happy before God also who gave us this precious time to share the heart of God today morning uh, with our brothers and sisters. Uh, we are not the one who can understand the heart of God, uh, but together with our brothers and sisters, while we are checking the heart of God one by one, I believe that God will give us the great wisdom and also realizations, and also which can make us to have a power to overcome challenge and problem in our life. Amen. Uh, we have been starting and listening the Bible retreat sermon from Wednesday. And I believe that also brothers and sisters, if you listen the message and, and testimony one by one, one by one during the retreat, I believe that in your heart, you can have a blessing in your heart. Yeah, today, uh, let us open the Bible. First King, chapter 16, verse 13. We can read from verse 1. So King Solomon was king over all Israel, and, and these were his officials, uh, Azariah, the son of Sadak, the priest, Ehrop, and Ahijah, the son of Shisha, scribe, Joseph Pad, Jeho Jehoshaphat, the son of Ahilud, the recorder. Yeah, you can see this one. And then also, let's go for 29. And God gave Solomon wisdom and exceedingly great understanding, resonance of heart like the sun on the seashore. Does Solomon wisdom excellent the wisdom of all the men of East and all the wisdom of Egypt? For he was wiser than all men, than Adam the Elslahite, the Herman, the Herman, Charcoal, and Dada, the son of Maho, the his fame was in all the surrounding nation. He spoke 3,000 proverbs, and his song was one of 1,005. Yeah, uh, I'm very happy before God uh, who has given us this time to share our her together with our brothers and sisters. Oh, uh, really for me, I'm so thankful. I'm so thankful before God. Uh, because really why we are studying the heart of God through this Bible, I'm not the one who can understand well. I'm not the one who can realize the Bible very well. But by the help of the Holy Spirit, uh, I can see the God showing us one by one, one by one. Uh, we have been studying this uh, second, you know, first king from chapter one. Uh, really, we are able to see that how God established uh, Solomon to be a king of Israel. And also how God uh, read his kingdom. Chapter four, we are able to see in the beginning, it start with the uh, Solomon become king of <clears throat> Solomon become king of Israel. Uh, king Solomon was king over all Israel. And then we are able to see also how also how he uh, arranged the, how he set up uh, the positions and other duties. Yes. And also he established the new uh, the priest, he established the new scribes and even the commanders and different area he stand he uh, different area he sent the people who can work in that area. 
And we are able to see that also he established the, the, the reason by reason. And really he also set up the, the system to supply food and from the uh, 12, uh, 12, 12 tribe and supplying the, the, the police monthly by month. So you are able to see that uh, really Solomon after he become king, how he organized and arranged uh, this country with the wisdom of God. And also we are able to see the grace of God. Is it right? Yeah. Also really when you remember how is the heart of Solomon, uh, if you remember the heart of Solomon, yes, yeah, Solomon really he is one who was so weak. Even he knows that I'm not qualified to be a king of Solomon and to be a king of Israel. So really he, in Solomon, he realized that even he knew that uh, really he didn't desire for the other position. He didn't have desire for other things, but even he was just seeking the grace uh, to have a wisdom. Is it right? So if you see first King chapter three, The first King chapter three, verse five. The first King chapter three, verse five. At Givon, the Lord appeared to Solomon in a dream by night. And God said, ask, what shall I give you? And Solomon said, you have shown the great mercy to your servant, David, my father, because he worked before you in truth in righteousness and in unrightness, in truth, uh, over here with you, you have continued this great kindness for him, and you have given him sunset on his throne as it is. Now, oh my Lord, you have made your servant king instead of my father David. I'm a little child. I do not know how to go out and come in. Your servant is in the midst of your people whom you have chosen a great people too uh, numerous to be numbered count. Therefore give to your servant an understanding heart to judge your people that I may be seen between good and evil who is able to judge his great people hearers. So you're able to see that in chapter three, uh, when God was asking, what should I give you? Really Solomon, he knew his position. I'm not the one who are qualified. I'm not the one who are qualified. Really, he was nothing. So he said that I'm a little child. I do not know how to go out or come in. Although, <clears throat> Even though we don't know all, but we are able to see really in the heart of Solomon, really he didn't have a desire <clears throat> in the beginning. He was not focusing the life. He was not focusing the gold and silver. He was not focusing the power. Only one part which he was focusing, that is the wisdom of God. And that was the heart of God. Amen. Yes, really that was the wisdom of God. <clears throat> Because really, who is he? He is a leader child. He said, I'm a leader child, I do not know. <clears throat> I'm a leader child, I do not know how to go out or come in. <clears throat> really, we can see that if you see the heart of Solomon, really he was nothing. I'm a leader child, I do not know. He was seeking the wisdom. Really, we can see nowadays many people, they do not know their position. Yet in my eyes, I can see so many weakness on them. Really, they are weak. They are lacking. They have to learn a lot. But really, they don't feel that they are lacking. And they don't feel that they have a problem. They are proud of themselves easily. But really, we are able to remember the heart of Solomon. How was his heart? Really, we can see that really he was a little boy before God. 
and there is nothing which he can do without guidance of God. And really, we can see that God, he is the one who is uh, <clears throat> who gave him the wisdom of God. And now also we see chapter 4, we are able to see how Solomon is working in Israel, how he establishes servant in the position, how he support others, really how he arranges and organizes the system. Really, we can see the whole chapter, we are able to see, wow, really Solomon here has a wisdom of God, wow, really Solomon is doing work well. So really, we are able to see, and that is the wisdom of God. And then also this Bible is showing us clearly. And also this Bible is showing us clearly. Verse 29, chapter 4, verse 29. And God gave Solomon wisdom and exceedingly great understanding and roughness of heart like a sand on the seashore. <clears throat> Bible is showing us clearly who gave this wisdom. Hmm? This Bible says he was a wiser than all men. How? How he was able to have such kind of wisdom is not because of what he did, because this Bible says God gave Solomon the wisdom and exceedingly great. So really we can see that, that wisdom is coming from where? It is from God. And because really he was nothing, he was a little boy, that's why he was asking God to give him the wisdom. Really, we remember the scripture that really whatever you ask, he will give us. And really he was nothing, he was a young boy, that's why he doesn't know anything, that's why he asked for, uh, he asked for wisdom. And really according to that promise, I can see that God gave him the wisdom. Amen. <clears throat> But now what we are able to see, whole Israel and even out of Israel knew about him. That's first King chapter two. So first King chapter 10. First King chapter 10. Verse 7. The first King chapter 10, verse 7. However, I did not believe the word until I came and saw with my own eyes. And indeed, the heart was not foretold me. Your wisdom and prosperity exceeding the fame of which I heard. Happy are your men and happy are those your servant who stand continually before you are and hear your wisdom. Blessed be the Lord your God who delight you in you, setting you on the throne of Israel, because the Lord has loved Israel forever. Therefore, he made you king to do justice and righteousness. Yes, now really you are able to say, how was his wisdom? And that's why they bring a lot of money. So while he's receiving, everybody say like this, wow, Solomon, really your wisdom is the best. Even I heard, but I didn't decide to believe. But when I meet you, when I listen from you, you are more than that rumors. Wow, really? You are able to see that people, they come and give him the praise. Him. And also when they're coming, they give the also gold and silver. Really, we can see that. <clears throat> how God is working. Really, we can see that <clears throat> how this wisdom is big, but people, while they're praising Solomon, but with a whole lot of treasures and money, silver and gold, what he received, and with all those praising him, slowly by slowly, he exerts himself and trusts himself. Is it right? As you know very well, really, that's why uh, Solomon, uh, uh, he become far from God. He was continually serving his flesh. He's continually walking his life. 
and also uh, really because of the grace what he received become also released and but because of this grace really we are able to see the how solomon corrupt because he become corrupt and just he's living according to his <clears throat> fresh desire and really he <clears throat> did against god he married 3000 ladies right and really we can see how he corrupt in this way for me always i remember what servant of god said to me when i was in difficulty and challenge he was thinking about my heart and he's thinking you and he said to me you receive the grace and with that grace you start trust yourself and believe yourself and with a grace you you start trust yourself so you cannot listen from my word even you cannot believe the word of jesus and then you are falling into the isolation and walk alone and struggle alone finally you will laugh from church and you will again stop actually that is what he told me so really this word is so uh, touched in my heart and show me clear information he said it was very simple your pastor kim you you receive the grace and with your grace you trust yourself and you can listen my word and you can listen the word of servant right so and then you left from church that is what he told me but now what you are able to see that in the beginning solomon was very humble really he was very humble and he doesn't know what to do and really he was young man young boy but slowly by slowly he received grace and really uh, everybody prays solomon and really people they pray solomon right so while he is praising himself and exert himself and trust himself finally he become arrogant he started to become far from god he started to become far from the servant of god really finally he live according to his own flesh desire and he living the corruptible life is it right so brothers and sisters in your spiritual life yes it is very important to receive from god but also what is most important what is most important really also God continually give us grace and even though we receive grace it's not cannot take our own the time it take as mine that is time we have a problem in our life right really we are able to see uh, when we receive grace of God it is not because of what I have done because we are the one who need his grace that's why God gave us his grace amen yes really God gave us his grace not because of the post ourselves because we are the most weak people and humble people. That's why really we want to, we are able to receive grace. And the time we receive the grace of God, Satan continually make us trust ourselves and forget where it came from, where this wisdom coming from, where this grace coming from. We forget the church, we forget the servant of God and easily, easily we live according to our own desire, according to our own thought, right? Really. Uh, God gave us this precious time to meditate the heart of God. That's why we are able to see uh, Solomon's wisdom, it is coming from God. But Solomon with the wisdom, what he received from God, he started to exert himself and trust himself. He started to become far from his God so that finally he lived a corruptible life. In the same way, God give you grace. Sometimes God give you grace. God give you mercy. It is not because of you have done a lot, it's because you are the one who is most weak people. Amen. That's why God give us grace, not because we are working well, because we are the one who is humble. We are the one who is nothing. We are the one who is so miserable. That's why God, he is the one who saved us. But say to continually exert our heart, make us feel that I have done something for God. But you know, when we are holding this heart, really we are able to see that the problem is coming and challenge is coming in our life. Everyone, really, I'm very happy before God who gave us this precious time. But really, uh, we are able to be humble in, in the lower position so that we are able to receive this grace of God continue. And also, we are able to be with this peace and happiness in your spiritual life. The time you exert your heart, the time you trust your heart, you will find a challenge and problem in your life. Really, I'm very happy before God who gave us this precious time. 
and to meditate the heart of God. Okay, thank you so much. Okay, thank you.